Hey, welcome to uh, the premiere episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. Um, this won't be a regular Let's Play. My friends and I are going to be uh, taking the save file and passing it around. And we'll each play like a set amount of time and then uh, save it and pass the file on to the next person because it's not a traditional uh, multiplayer game. I mean, actually, it's not multiplayer at all. It's single player. But we're going to kind of treat it as kind of turn. We're going to take turns with it. So, uh, and, and this is... Let's see. Uh, I'll list a link to the descriptions in, in the description to the other players uh, when I post this video. And I don't. I think all of us are going to be posting videos, but if not, we'll have some sort of blog. Uh, but I think the majority of us will be uh, making videos at least. So this is a uh, start of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, I'm probably going to keep here. I have a choice to switch between the uh, the graphics font and then like the true type font. And the true type may be difficult to read. Uh, I hope it's not. If if it is a problem, I'm recording in, in uh, full res HD. But if it's a problem, just uh, say so, and I'll try to play further uh, with this font. Uh, this font is a little wide, so sometimes it gets pushed off the screen. And it also, uh, as you can see down here at the bottom, uh, where it says press enter to select an option, uh, because of the way this graphics set has to work, uh, certain characters uh, don't show up properly. But, but if I do true type font, they do the commas and the periods here as they should be. So anyway, uh, this first episode, I'm just going to do the intro and set up the world and start the party. And that's a fairly uh, involved process. So we will start by creating a new world. And then in the next video, we'll start the actual gameplay. And um, I think we're each going to start, uh, let's see, what does this say? We're each going to play for about a season and then save and then pass it on. So. That translates to about an hour, hour and a half of uh, play, actual play time, if, if you don't pause too much. But of course, uh, there will be a lot of pausing going on early on, especially because I don't know exactly all the ins and outs of the games yet. This is a disclaimer saying this is an alpha. OK, and here we have our world parameters. Let's see. I'm going to go medium world size. Uh, medium is the default on all these. We have history. How long is the history? I think I'm going to go with the short history, which is uh, short history says here it's uh, 125 years. Medium number of civilizations, uh, number of sites, medium sounds good. Number of beasts, fine. Uh, savagery, fine. Uh, and mineral occurrence, we'll leave that on the default as well. Don't want to make things too easy on us, but at the same time, we don't want to go <laughs> too difficult either. I can imagine that this is going to uh, be interesting. Let's go. So it's generating the world now. It's kind of an interesting process. Uh, it generates all of this procedurally, <clears throat> and uh, you can see up at the top here, I think you can see that, let me make it a little larger, it says uh, there's one rejected world. So it, it's trying different things out, and if it does, runs into dead ends, it starts a new one. So far, it's only rejected one, so it looks like it's going to proceed fine for here. And now it's simulating history, so it's accepted the world, and now you can see it's building roads and, and things like that. Uh, and civilizations and it's in year 56 of I think 125 it said we can end it at any point but I'll let it roll here and see what happens uh, and then we'll look for a suitable site and hopefully we can find one there are ways to let me turn this music down this is really loud all right I didn't, I didn't expect it to be rock music or rock uh, Celtic rock or I don't even know what this is um, so anyway, I, I, I've i been playing a little over the last week, trying to figure out kind of, you know, the, the basics. And I think I'm make, making headway, but there's still, I think I've, over the last week, I've probably had two uh, fortresses that I started, neither of which, the, they were just kind of trials. I didn't take either one past, um, let me skip, what is this music? This is nonsense. Hang on. I'll just turn you down. I'll turn you way down. Okay. Uh, so uh, neither of those that I've done, I actually even made it past the first season. So we'll make it further in this uh, turn that I'm going to play than I've ever played. So I, 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 there are a lot of things we're going to encounter. That I don't even know how to do or what to do. But I figure we'll try to just uh, limp through it as best we can. <laughs> it's bound to be interesting no matter what. All right. Let's see if controllers... Let's look around a little bit. 
Um, most of the uh, most of the controls in this game are keyboard based, and the interface is largely impenetrable. I mean, it is it is the trickiest part of this game. I mean, the, there there are a lot of the game itself is I won't say difficult, complicated enough, and it only grows more complicated as things proceed and and your your fortress uh, population increases. But the the interface itself is I mean. If they could rework the interface, this game would be so much more accessible. The learning curve would be um, far less steep. Now, this is cool. I don't know what this area is up here, but it looks like maybe a volcano or something. I, I don't know. I wonder if there's a way. Let's see. Now, let me start by hitting P because it says here I can export the image and the info for this map. So uh, that would be nice. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to hit... Um, I'm going to hit enter to accept this map. It's now saving it to the files thing. <laughs> Reticulating splines. Okay, so here we are back to the home menu. We've created our world. And uh, we, I have a save file here, that's why this is continued. Uh, and then you have three different game options here, but Dwarf Fortress is the version we're going to play. It's the, I think, the more fully developed and uh, it's going to load our file and let's see if we can yeah this is the one we had so this is the zoomed out view this is our more zoomed in view and this is our really zoomed in view um, and if I hit F there's a way to find desired location and we have these options up here let me hit F12 so this show up a little more clearly um, X dimensions Y dimensions I'm gonna leave those the same for now savagery uh, I'm gonna let's see actually let me do this let me do Fluxstone, yes. I, I don't know why. I've never encountered Fluxstone, but from everything I hear, Fluxstone is a good thing. I do know we don't want an aquifer. Uh, that can cause problems when we're trying to burrow. Uh, river does... Uh, I'll s no, I'm going to turn the river off right now. Well, you know, let's try it first with it. Let's try to start it more specific, and then we'll... Shallow metal, yes. Deep metal, yes. Uh, so we'll just... I'll hit NA for now on the soil. Okay, and let's go ahead and do search. I, you know, I don't really want things to be savage and evil where we're at, but I feel like we can't be too picky because uh, there may be no options. Okay, so oh wow, there are actually quite a few places. So it's found uh, all these places with the flashing X's are suitable. Uh, let's browse the results. Okay, so okay, here's my here's my cursor up here moving around and that's the only thing about doing a uh, video with this is it's easy for the viewer to lose track of the curve oh, it's easy for me to lose track of the cursor okay now I like and we got to pay attention to oh, so over here on the right side it says there's clay very deep soil shallow metal flux stone we don't really want very deep soil I want to hit rock before too long very deep soil, deep metals. Uh, we need a flux stone. We need flux stone, and we need uh, no aquifer. Clay, very deep soil. See, I don't want very deep soil. We're in the woodlands now. It's hot as the temperature. Let's. We will, probably won't warm or temper it. Hot will cause problems with evaporation and possible uh, are dwarves overheating and dying. Let's see. Shallow metal, deep metals. Very. Deep. We don't want very deep soil. Well, I, I'll take it if I can't find anything else. But if I can find less deep soil here's a river this is cool okay I kind of like this very deep soil the stream is called the puzzling wave so yeah this game creates a very detailed history of things that that go on um, as they happen and there are ways to browse the history which I won't don't even know how to get into right now won't bother with it but it names all of these are these uh, geographical features it's pretty awesome Now we have our triumphant music. So I, I do, I do kind of want to start with, you know, let me go back out. I need to find, um, I think it's F. Okay, I, I want, I don't want very deep soil. Uh, some, uh, some or little, just anything but, anything but deep. Okay, I finally found a spot. I think we're, whoa, I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, this guy right here 
And let's ignore this note that I added by accident. Let's see. Can I remove a note? Delete note. Boom. Boom. There we go. So this guy right here. Now we've got a little river, and the big wild card here, of course, is this road. Uh, the Road of Confusion. And the brook is called the Mists of Rage. And we are in the, the Hill of Impaling. <laughs> but it's got trees. Uh, it's got vegetation. Uh, the temperature is uh, temperate and uh, surrounded by wilderness, which is, you know, not particularly evil. We've got some soil, we've got deep metals, and we've got flux stone. So, let's do this. And uh, I think we're going to prepare for the journey carefully. Uh, the, uh, the new pack that I downloaded uh, has all these other little pre-built packs that you can use, but uh, well, that's no fun. Let's do this. Prepare the journey carefully. <clears throat> Before I started out uh, setting my skills for my dwarves first, but I think this time I'm going to go to uh, items and let's pick out some items. So on the left side here are the items we have. Iron anvil, we're good. We need an iron anvil. We've got 20 things of rum, 20 things of beer, 20 things of ale. We've got some plump helmets, which is food, pigtail, seeds, plants. Uh, I think these can be used to grow fiber and things like that to make things out of cave wheat. Uh, I guess those grow in caves, from <laughs> the name would suggest. And uh, maybe we can make some wholesome bread out of that. Uh, sweet pods, rock nuts, dimple cup. That's, uh, I think, another type of fungus or mushroom. Grows in the caves. Prepared goat's blade. A true delicacy. I'm going to go over to the right side. And down here at the bottom, we have 270 points to spend. So I could, for instance, get a donkey. But it's going to cost me 101 points. And what's the point of having one donkey when you get two? So you could breed them. But that would be very expensive, and we don't really have the dough for that. So, let's see here. We don't have any... We don't have any sort of animals or anything. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, what I did before was I got two cats and... Or, I got a male cat and a female cat. And a male and a female dog. Um, cats are nice. Actually, the dogs probably too. They help kill pests and vermin and things like that. I think dogs can be used to help defend. I don't even know what a keet is. No keet. We have no female keets. We have no male guinea cocks. No male keets. I do know what peahens are. Let's take a couple of like chickens or something that can lay eggs so we can get some food out of it. Let me just go to chicken. So I'm going to get one chick and one rooster. Let me add a chick, add a rooster, and then we'll hope nothing happens to them. Let's see, a dog is 16. So I'll get a male dog and a female dog. They're not that expensive. Uh, one dog male. Why don't they put the dogs together? Why? Or maybe there are no female. Do I don't know. Here we go. Yeah, see, female dogs way up here at the top. I guess they go by gender because they have. Okay, and we'll see if we can afford a cat and a cat, male and female. Yeah, this stuff's fine. I'm not really. And is there? And here we can hit in and add some things to our item list. Which, of course, there are a jillion items. Uh, there are fish. Uh, I've always heard that... Well, I've always heard. Uh, recently, I've heard that uh, cave lobster are good. Let's see, they're 2p a piece. Uh, we don't really have any ammo or anything to speak of, I don't think. We could probably... We, we're going to get wood when we get there. We're going to get plenty of stone. Metal bars might come in handy, but we're going to mine for our own. Got cloth leather. Training weapons, uh, I don't think, let me see, I don't think we had any sort of weapons or anything like that. And I think we're going to need, well, we have two copper battle axes, two copper picks, so that'll be good to get us started. Let's go ahead and assign our skills first. Okay, so we've got Aesob Lectadmonam, he's a peasant. These are all peasants so far, but I think when we add them, give them some skills. Let's start with our, well, actually, you know, I can view the guy, let's see. Aesab Lectadamanam has been quite content lately. She is 65 years old, born on the 12th of Timber in the year 61. She is skinny. She has a very high-pitched voice. Her nose is broad. Her small lobed ears are somewhat narrow. Her slightly pounded, slightly rounded jade eyes are slightly close-set. Her hair is burnt umber. Her medium-length hair is tied in a ponytail. Her skin is pink. She's quick to heal. That's good. Aesab Blah Blah is likes porcelain. Aluminum, red grossular gross wagon wood. Uh, the color gray shields dogs for their loyalty and elephant seals for their great size when possible. 
Uh, w great size. See, this is what happens when the punctuation's not there. Great size. When possible, she prefers to consume giant kangaroo, sunshine, and wild strawberry seeds. She absolutely detests slugs. So we won't put her around uh, a bunch of slugs. She has a, we won't put her in charge of gardening. Uh, she has a deep well of patience and a very good feel for social relationships and a keen, uh, a good kinesthetic sense. And then here's the, the negative. But she has poor analytical abilities, an iffy memory, and meager creativity. Oh, that'd be so harsh. Uh, she, has, uh, she is incredibly quick to heal, quite durable, rarely sick, and slow to tire. Okay, so looks like Fath and Momus might be our, our natural uh, miners there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and bump them both up. Uh, actually, you know, maybe let me do let me do this. I'm going to do Momaz is not a mason, but we need a mason. And we might want a, uh, someone who can engrave too. And I'll start them off at novice so they can at least uh, do those ta perform those tasks. This is, okay, a lot of this stuff, herbalist. I mean, we're going to need a cook, an herbalist, a grower, all this, a butcher. Armor, striker, kicker, uh, swimmer, liar, f comedian, flatterer, pacifier, observer, and teacher. I don't know if a teacher might be a good thing. Let's, uh. You know, I think I do want two miners. I think I, I, think I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, Fath a, a better mason, and then I'll make. Let's see, we need, let's get someone to be a carpenter. And Raul, Raul, is that a guy or girl? She, so okay. She's rarely sick, but she is slow to heal. Momus, so we have uh, we have nothing but females on this. Okay, interesting. Um, so let's see here, we need a, we got a wood, oh no, we need, we need a wood cutter. Let's make our carpenter. Do we want our, our carpenter to be our woodcutter? You know, I'm going to make a couple of these woodcutters. I'll, I'll go ahead and make uh, carpenter woodcutter. I think Fath. No, Momos, yeah. No, that's not a good idea because we're going to need them mining. Let's do uh, Itan. I think you'll be a fine woodcutter. Itaz. Or Itan, rather. Okay, let's do. This is tricky. This is so many things to choose between here. <clears throat> I don't really know. Uh, I just kind of hope you're making good choices and wish for the best. Uh, let's do a fisherman. Adequate fisherman. Uh, a, we need. Let's make a farmer. Let's let's have a farmer. Uh, let's have Catan be the farmer. So I'm gonna go say a farmer can also be the brewer for now and the cooker. I mean, maybe I'm generalizing too much but let's just see what happens not a boy about bowyer armor smith metal stone stone crafter potter glazer wax worker fisherman there we go but i don't want to see i only got 17 points left in uh animal caretaker super lie maker glass maker axeman swordsman maceman Cheese maker, fish cleaner, leather worker, tanner, butcher. Let's see. We've got we've got a cook. We, I mean, we've got a farm. We've got to mine. We've got to do um, carpentry and things like that. We've got to chop down wood. Um, do, and I do have a farmer, so I, or did, I didn't set a farmer actually. And I've already got a fisherman here. We don't need. To. Let's make you the farmer. Oops. Where are you at? Where's the farmer? Am I missing it on here somewhere? I must be missing it. It can't be. Smith, metal smith, the furnace operator, wood burner, stone crafter, gem cutter, potter, glazer, max worker, fisherman, th grower. Well, I guess that'd be the grower, huh? And we already have a grower, I believe. I don't know. 
In fact, we did not have a grower. Competent grower. I don't know what the teacher can do. Let's... Building designer. All right, let's name our fortress. Um, front compound. Let's do um, pack battle bald, balded, bathe battle born bees, bolts break, britches. Let's do the britches. Bridge. <laughs> Bridges silver, uh, bridges, bridges, I wanted to do of, bridges of, bridges, bridges of apes, <laughs> bridges of bile, oh, I, I'm tempted, let's see, uh, we'll do the bridges of apes, I think bridges of apes is catching. Riches of apes. And of course, apes comes before artifice. Bridge, bridges silver of apes. See, I don't really want clear. I don't want this. Let's clear that one. Bridges of apes. There we go. Soothmom Isaac. Okay. <laughs> Riches of apes. And uh, let's name the group. Um, let's let me just uh, front compound. Let me let me see if I can. There we go. We'll start at the bottom here. Uh, cheese. Cheese is always a good one. Cheese of the bodice. Of, <laughs> cheese. The, cheese the bodice of hearts. Wait, wait, let me clear this one. Cheese of hearts. Cheese. <laughs> cheese of. Let's do a second adjective. We need, we need cheese of ageless. Oh wait, hang on. Why is it not? I guess it won't let me do. Cheese. Cheese of anger. Um, cheese of ancients. Cheese of. <laughs> cheese of balding. Cheese of beetles. Che cheese of boils. <laughs> this is delicious. <laughs> cheese of burden. Cheese of Burden. Sh shock Mug Okan. Let's, can we do a second adjective? Cheese of Angry Burden. Oh, I wish we could do Cheese of Angry Burden. Cheese of Bald Burden. Okay. Okay, we like that one. And uh, I do want to do... One other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to name all of these founders. Because I'm going to forget the names. But if I... Uh, let's see, can we... Customize a nickname, and you know that's the other thing. Let's let's give them na uh, profession names fitting of their. So, oh, you know, Asab is a peasant. So, let me. You know, because I think we gave. Who's the uh, who is the building designer? Let me give. Uh, let me give the building designer to uh, old Asab over here, so he won't be left out. Okay, so he's going to be our build. Our I'm hesitant to call him a building designer because he has one. He's a novice, but I'm gonna, so I'm going to call all these founder Asab. Founder Founder Brzezkunath. Okay. Okay, so we've got our, our group named, our fortress named. Uh, so I think we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. See you on the other side. You have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond your, beyond your harsh trek. Wait, hold on. Beyond. See, again, the problem with the font. Your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Zim Zimfaltig. 
Uh, there are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by your bolt, plow, or hook, provide your dwarves. Provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is, it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings uh, ere the cougars get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Suthmom Isaac, Bridges of Apes. Strike the earth!